Members of Congress are calling for an investigation of the contract, which was awarded by Puerto Rico's bankrupt utility company. More now from Juliana Goldman. This is a contract that was determined by the local authorities in Puerto Rico. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders distanced the president from the $300 million contract today, even as Mr. Trump addressed the controversy with Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke during a previously scheduled meeting. He did ask such Secretary Zinke uh, just for clarification purposes, and he reiterated once again uh, that we have no role, the federal government, and specifically he had no role in that contract. But the contract says the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, reviewed and approved the agreement. Today, FEMA said it was not involved, and any language that says it was is inaccurate. And we're here ready to light up Puerto Rico. The Department of Homeland Security's inspector general will perform an audit. But there's one aspect of the deal that appears to be off limits. The contract says federal and state officials don't have the right to review the cost and profit elements of the labor rates, like $462 per hour for a subcontractor's site supervisor and time and a half for anyone working over 40 hours. The IG will look for the presence of any inappropriate relationships. In addition to Whitefish's connection to Secretary Zinke, one of the company's top investors has given tens of thousands of dollars to Republicans, including Energy Secretary Rick Perry, Senators Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, and President Trump. In a statement, Zinke said he had absolutely nothing to do with the contract and he welcomes all investigations into the allegations. Late today, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi called on the contract to be terminated immediately. Anthony. Juliana Goldman, thanks.